This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. In campaign 2020, it was a contentious night in Cleveland as President Donald Trump and Joe Biden took to the stage for the first presidential debate. The debate had its fair share of drama and fireworks. Throughout the debate, both President Trump and Biden jabbed personal attacks at each other while attempting to answer questions about coronavirus, the open Supreme Court seat, and others. The most buzzworthy moment of last night's debate came when President Trump refused to condemn white supremacy. On the road to reopening, students in Miami-Dade will return to their classrooms beginning next week. The district will officially reopen campuses on Monday, October 5th. The school board voted unanimously on the staggered start, which will have most students back in school by next Friday. That's more than a week earlier than originally planned after demands from the state. Schools that do not meet more than three dozen safety indicators won't be forced to open, and families that opted for My School Online when surveyed in July will remain engaged in distance learning. Meantime, Broward County school leaders are holding an emergency meeting tomorrow to further discuss the district's reopening plans. The school board did not make a decision during yesterday's meeting after receiving a similar letter from Commissioner Corcoran. Right now, Broward is planning to begin its phase reopening on Wednesday, October 14th. And the journey has come to an end for one city of Miami police officer who spent weeks pedaling for a purpose. Officer Joe McCrane crossed the finish line in front of the Miami Police Department Tuesday morning after riding 1,024 miles on his bike. September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and he said he was inspired by the kids fighting the disease. In total, Officer McCrink raised a goal of $20,000 for Live Like Bella, a group that started in memory of Bella Rodriguez Torres, a South Florida 10-year-old who died of cancer in 2013. Now, CBS4 weather. Welcome to Wednesday, final day of September, and we have a cold front that is moving across Central Florida. It is going to continue to sag southward and stall out over our area. So, yes, we are dry for now as we head into the afternoon highs climb to 90 degrees, and then we'll see storms developing, especially in the afternoon and evening. Keep the umbrellas handy as we head into late week and the weekend. We are going to see plenty of moisture that's going to keep the rain chance high with the potential for heavy downpours and flooding through Saturday on Sunday. We could see some passing storms, but very unsettled wet weather patterns setting up here as we head into your Thursday. Storms increasing upper 80s, low 80s Friday due to the clouds and the rain around heavy storms through Saturday with the low 80s and then passing storms on Sunday. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.